Hi everybody, welcome to this week's video. It's been a big week. We finished the roof. We. <laughs> The, fin the roofers finished the roof and I have uh, started prepping uh, the office for painting and trying to come up with new colors. We, okay, Toma, started, started, started the, the, uh, the fountain project, but uh, kind of got rained out. So, and the, in other big exciting news, I got the um, sketchbook retreat is now live so if you want to join us sketching in september yay um there's actually uh only a couple more spots left so you gotta kind of act fast it's gonna be really fun we're going to go to the chateau where um josephine baker used to live it's got a very sort of checkered past and it's a beautiful place and it's got beautiful gardens and apparently a really great brasserie for um, having lunch. So we've got that planned and we're going to be working with um, a man named Nate Gilmore, who's actually from Vashel Island, where I used to own a house. And he's a chef now mostly working in Europe, specializing in charcuterie. So he's going to take us to the market and then we're gonna come back here and do a cooking class and eat what we make. So I'm excited. Okay, so here's this week's video, enjoy. Well, the roofers are back this week, so tiles are being put on, which is good. It'd be nice to have them on so water doesn't leak everywhere. And uh, yeah, go from there. It's all happening. All right, we have a photocopier that is filled with stink bugs. <laughs> and it won't print. <laughs> Oh my God, this is horrible. I don't want to break it. Uh. <laughs> Here, do you want me to hold, hold it too? Hmm. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's that one. Lot of here too. Oh. Mm. oh my God! Can we take that? Uh, whole I think piece that is a vacuum. Oh, that's a good idea. Uh, uh, no, just by the door of the basement. Yeah. Oh, the scourge. Okay. Well, end of day of Monday, and here we are. Uh, the slate is almost all complete and look at those look at those they're just leaving look at those tiles they look so good so tomorrow they're gonna put in the skylight wow it's so exciting it looks so good look at that fun 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 okay work has begun on the fountain Tama and Yasin are going to clean it all out, um, pull it apart, and then they're going to um, line it with waterproof cement so that we can finally get it going. I'm very excited. So the work begins. office cleaned out now so oops, maybe I'll pull back yeah all uh, cleaned out now so I'm getting ready to paint but I'm still struggling with the colors 
Um, Tama had to finish for the day. <laughs> he was only here about an hour before it started raining. So, alas, that's as far as we've gotten. So bummed. Um, anyway, little by little, I guess. There we go. And then I've turned the dining room into my de facto office for the moment. So, <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. Still got my TV. <laughs> So there we go. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Fun, fun. Okay, well, roofers are all done, I think. Um, although it looks like there's a whole path along the edge there that they still need to do. Anyway, they're not here today, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Anyhow, um, there we go. All done. The slate looks amazing. So now we await the facade people. <laughs> okay, here is the completed roof with the Verilux, the skylight. And it's looking amazing. It's much brighter up here. And it's all very neat and tidy. So I'm super excited. And I think this area where it's obviously getting quite a bit of light will be where I set up my studio, my easels. Because I think this corner is a little darker, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I'm super excited. It's going to be really fun. And I did ask why there was no barrier, moisture barrier, behind the uh, artois, the slates. And he said it's just because we're going to be building a flat wall across there. So it has plenty of air and doesn't need to be um, barricaded. Barrier? No. Barricaded? No. Okay. Wow. Words. You'd never know I was a writer, would you? Okay. So there we go. Now I have to do the, the scary, the scary, uh, descent <laughs> with no railings. Okay. This is the scariest part of the descent. Luckily, I just don't look down because I'm actually terrified of heights. So I don't love this. It takes me a few minutes to brace myself for doing it. Anyhow. Okay, off I go. I just started peeling the wallpaper off, even though I'm only supposed to be prepping the room, but it was really satisfying, so I thought I'd build it. Watch this piece wall come off nice and easy to feel a little bit, but it's fun. Okay, there we go. Tomas has the uh, a chauffeur, which is the um, 
gosh, I can barely even remember the name in English now. I think it's uh, the scaffolding on the wheels. So I'd always be up there. I guess I could bring the ladder down, but uh, I'm not really dressed for it. I'm not really supposed to be doing this right now. So I just started taping off the floors and getting everything prepped. And then I had a little itch to pull some wallpaper. So there we go. Home to the mountain. Okay, welcome to my little world. Chloe and I are very cold today because um, my heater ran out of granules. And apparently it takes about a week to get a new shipment. <laughs> so we're cold in the meantime. And I feel kind of stupid, although it's very difficult to tell like if you go down and look at the you know the the big tent thing where the granules live it's very difficult to tell that they're not that it's empty it just looks full all the time so but i also you know you have to kind of go and kick it to see <laughs> to see if there's anything in it but i kind of thought we had plenty anyway apparently we don't so um as you can see, I've been working on the office. I have uh, stripped all the wallpaper. So all the walls are in pretty rough shape. So there's gonna be a lot of plastering. But in the meantime, I'm trying to decide on colors. So I've got some ferro and ball colors. I just found them online. And um, so there was a time where I was uh, wanting to do this blue color. Um, but I found this other color. So the chair that I bought a couple of weeks ago, of what, last week? When did I buy it? Two weeks ago. Uh, at the Brocante. It's really a cool color. It's almost like a, a deep purple gray. And I really love the color. So I kind of wanted to try that as maybe the color because I think it would also go with the navy blue couch. Um, and then Pharaoh and Ball kind of had... Um, they had these, these color, this is a color scheme. So I just kind of chose the color scheme. So it's, um, it's wine dark plus kitty wake plus, what is this, corn forth white. So I'm gonna just try them on paper. I might try doing kind of just to figure out which colors would go where. And then I was thinking as the accent, the dark blue here, I would use this deep purple, which I think would go well with the wine dark. Anyway. It's an experiment, so we'll see what we get. And uh, yeah, just thought it would be fun to, you know, be a little different in this room. I kind of want a cozy kind of feel, cozy office feel. Um, I think it could be pretty dramatic. Maybe that's not a good thing, <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, just a, this is kind of my cozy room a little bit, but it's also, I thought it would be a more private room, but I've discovered that when having retreats, that this becomes kind of the corridor that people use to get in and out between the garden and the kitchen or the garden and the dining room. So I kind of have to just live with that. <laughs> it won't be a private room, so I have to make it look nice now. So that's where I'm at. Um, I think what I will do is put it on time lapse. I'm going to just do the samples and then I'll just start painting this and then I'll go off time lapse and tell you what I think. Okay. Ooh, creaky knees, creaky knees. Ooh. 
Okay, well, here are the colors more dry. I think I've kind of been, eh, sort of narrowed it down. I don't know. So this was the original color that I think kind of was going through for that sort of wine dark, wine dark, I think, the Pharaoh involved wine dark. And then this is their Parma Gray. And then this is their uh, corn, Cornforth White. So I was kind of liking that, but then I did a match uh, on the chair that I bought at Brocant, and this was really blue compared to the chair. The chair is actually kind of almost brown. I found this color, Unicello, um, but when I went to get the sample, their computers were down, so I couldn't do that. So I got, I found this sample just at the Castorama. It's just a little sample. It was kind of close, but the one I want is kind of darker and a little browner. So that's kind of the color scheme I was thinking. But now that I kind of see this blue color, that's the wine dark. Kind of like it too. That's the corn, cornforth, whatever it's called, white. That is, and the one, so this blue is the Parma blue. This blue under here is the Kitty Wink blue or whatever they call it. And I think I prefer, I think I prefer the lighter. So that's Parma and that's Kitty Winkle Dinkle, whatever. Um, so, and then I just put a bit of the purple on, but I think I'm still liking the wine. Sorry, my camera has, <laughs> well, my phone is getting very full, <laughs> so it keeps cutting off my videos, which is what just happened. Um, and then it took me a while to get all the, got all the old videos off and get enough room to make a new video. So here I am. So I haven't really made any kind of decisions, um, but I'm still liking the wine dark, even though it's a bluer. Um, I'm not loving the purples at all. So I'm kind of back to the wine dark, which is this, with the Parma Gray and the corn farth, corn fart, <laughs> the corn fart white <laughs> and the Parma Gray and the wine dark. And um, so now I just have to figure out, the hard part is to sort of like, you know, do I make all of this the wine dark? Do I make the whole thing the wine dark? Do I paint the interior walls with a different color? And then I've got up here as well. So I was thinking I could do the lighter blue in here and then maybe do the, the cor corn fart, <laughs> uh, the corn fart white up here. And yeah, so there's all these possibilities, you know, do I just paint it all the same color? Do I, you know, do like they did before where, you know, each of the little squares is different colors? So many decisions, decisions, decisions. So I am definitely not there yet, but it's, uh, you know, it's all part of the process, narrowing it down. Okay, a biento. Home to the mountain, the